everyone, um, welcome to a different pretty. This is Miss Pam I am. I'm your Saturday girl and like everyone before me I'm here to talk about what I think of as pretty. I think everyone before me has pretty much hit the nail on the head. My grandmother used to tell me the same thing that Nikki's grandmother said and Forrest Gump's mama said it too. Pretty is as pretty does. Um, I personally have never thought of myself it's pretty. I was never told I was pretty growing up. In fact, um, quite the opposite. So I've always had that view of myself, um, very negative. And um, one day a man came along and I fell madly in love with him. And I didn't think that there was any way that he would ever give me a second look. But you know what? From the first day that he saw me, he saw pretty. And to this day, 31 years later, he still thinks I am the um, prettiest woman he's ever seen. We can go somewhere in a room of crowded people, and when we get home, he will tell me that I was the most beautiful woman there. And I've wanted so many times to see myself the way that he sees me and it's taken me years to be able to see myself not in a conceited way as pretty but to just be a pretty person because I've not always been a nice person I've not always been a kind person and that's something that I have um, strove for is to be a better person to be a nicer person. I don't want to be somebody who's hateful and bitter and um, resentful. That's not pretty. Pretty is forgiveness. Pretty is not just seeing pretty in you, but seeing pretty in those around you and um, giving people the opportunity to be pretty. To me right now, the prettiest thing is my granddaughter. When she wakes up in the morning and she holds up her little arms and she hollers Mimi and she's got her little blanket in her hand and she's still warm from the bed and her hair is all messy and curly and she wants Mimi, she wants me. That's the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Um, pretty is all around us. Pretty is in nature. Pretty is flowers. Pretty as the grass when it's green and it's growing. Pretty as little baby kittens that you just want to pick up and just squeeze. And the smell of a little puppy. That's pretty. Somebody who loves you when you're at your worst. That's pretty. My son is getting married tomorrow. And my daughter-in-laws, both of them, are pretty. They are the kindest hearted sweetest, gentlest women I could ever ask for for my sons. The butterfly that just flew by is pretty. Pretty is everywhere in the world, but sometimes it takes you wanting to see the pretty to see it. So that's what I want to encourage you to do. I want you to look for pretty. And sometimes it may be hard to see, but it's there if you look for it. If you just want to see ugly, you're going to see that. But if you're looking to see the pretty in yourself and you're looking to see the pretty in life around you, you're going to find it because it's there. It's everywhere. Sometimes it's just hard to see and it takes some work. So just look for pretty in yourself. No matter what size you are, no matter, I don't know, makeup doesn't make you pretty. I've spent a fortune on makeups and creams and potions, something to be the next best thing that's going to make me feel pretty. But you know what? There is not a product out there. There's not any amount of money out there that's going to make you or I, either one, feel pretty. We have to just know we're pretty and accept that and believe it in faith and keep looking in the mirror every day and saying, you know what? You are pretty. Because you are. It's there. Thank you for watching today. Have a blessed, blessed weekend. 
I'm looking forward to um, Jen's um, video tomorrow that's winding up our week of pretty and stay tuned because we have all sorts of fun and exciting things coming up so have a great weekend and be pretty bye